Good morning, guys. It's Saturday at maybe 2 o'clock or so, and I got up about an hour ago. Um, I am definitely still on West Coast time, so this is going to be a rougher transition. I have no idea how much uh, footage I have filmed on the second day and how much of this is going to fit in there, so it'll be kind of spattered out. Look what's still here. Yeah, remember when Taylor was here last Thursday? Yeah, that didn't go away after all the rain we had. Um, but check this out. I tried to film some of it last night in that 10 minute video. We got blooms over there. Holy shit, look how green this is. We got leaves on this tree over here, a couple leaves here. The woods is starting to green up on the ground a little bit. You know, starting out with those little trees and stuff. But I got a bunch of this weed crap over there. I, I have three yards to mow. I don't know when they're gonna get done. I don't know if it's too wet. It's probably too wet. Oh yeah, squish, squish, squish. But this is awesome, lots of life. And uh, everything looks and, and smells really good, which is awesome. So anyways, I'm going to take the car out now. Roads are drier than I thought, um, so we'll, we'll see what happens after a week. Uh, I did come out here last night and I folded the mirrors down and I checked tire pressure like that. Stuff like that, but I didn't do any starting. Oh, that is a nice driving position. I can see the road in front of me. That Camaro was pretty bad. So we'll do that. Come over here. Ah, oh, like a champ. Friggin' rates it does. Oh, stuff is looking really good. Everybody's yard's greened up. A lot of trees have flowers here. And uh, look at that. Those are just a couple days of being out. I hope this overnight freeze on Monday doesn't dick things up too badly. But we're running great. Feels fine. Uh, we're up at 65 degrees, which is awesome. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look, we've got all green trees along Hudson Aurora Road here. Right in front of the camp, and we've got daffodils, or daylilies, or whatever those yellow ones are. All right, that was fun. We only did about 10 miles, but it felt good to get through the gears and drive a three-pedal car, and God, the driving, um, the driving position, I guess you might say, and that is so good compared to, well, even the Honda, and I, I prefer it to the X5. Personally, I had like a lower experience, but that, that Camaro was so bad. You couldn't see the road until 30 feet in front of the car. It was just too low and the seat wouldn't go up. And I'm 6'3-ish, you know, that's, I should be able to see out of a car. So I'm thinking now it's work time. Uh, I'm gonna go walk around and, and that, I think that's the house I need to do first. And then this one, if I'm gonna do two today and then mine later in the week, but I'm gonna go over there and if it's too wet, I'm not gonna, you know, lose the mower in the mud or something like that. So I won't do it. But if it's not too wet, then it'll only take me maybe an hour. Yeah, bull crap. I just went over and walked um, across the street and next door and everything. It's just way too wet to mow today and probably tomorrow too. So that isn't going to get done. But it's about 3.30 now. And um, I've been editing the video that's going to go up Tuesday. So you're watching this, I think, Tuesday. But today's Saturday. Or maybe it'll go up Monday. It'll go up Monday. Today's Saturday. This is day two of the trip. Being filmed on the 24th. Uploaded on like the 26th. Um, I apologize, the vlogs are all screwed up. Yesterday, day one of the trip that you saw yesterday, um, which was Saturday or Friday, March 16th, um, I, that's a 15 minute and zero second or 1458 or 59 or whatever minute video. I don't have room to put anything else in it from the first day of being back here in Ohio. So that's all the trip. Then this one I'm putting in today and the second day of the trip, and we're just gonna build off this. Um, so this is the day we went to Symbolic Motor Cars in San Diego. It's one of the renowned car places there. They had some very nice stuff. Uh, so we did that, looked at a bunch of cars for a while. I didn't really narrate much or start this off professionally. I just filmed through the day. I'm on vacation. Give me a break. And then we drove out to Borrego Springs, which I mentioned. Um, Borrego Springs is about 100 miles northeast maybe 75 miles the way a crow flies, northeast of downtown San Diego. It's where a lot of people from LA and San Diego take their nice cars. There's some incredible driving roads. 99% of the time it's 80 and sunny. Uh, well, we were there when we drove over the mountains at 5,000 feet, it was like 30 degrees and some snow. And it rained the whole time in the desert, which it probably only looks like it did when I saw it a couple times a year. Uh, but awesome, awesome roads. I'd love to have a nice car on it. So we did a lot of filming there. And uh, then the next clip you see, there's like Mexican music, salsa going on, Latino music going on. Um, and that's Old Town San Diego. That's where we went for dinner. 
And then after that, it was St. Patrick's Day, so we went downtown into the gas lamp quarter, and you can see there's a party going on over here, a bunch of drunk people, so we didn't stay long. Uh, and then we, walking around downtown San Diego, there's this car, classic car place, and I did some, they weren't open, but I did some filming from outside. So that's day two of the trip, which was Saturday the 17th. And I don't know if I'm going to film anything else today, but I wanted to give you that precursor of what's going on in that video um, that is going to start now. Enjoy. Panameras and AMGs and Toyota Camrys with dented bumper. Just some pretty good roads though. We had better weather, better car. This would be phenomenal roads to do a car review on. Through the mountains here. Maybe they need to jig us up on this. <laughs> nice car out here and rip around. Maybe they did. We've gotten wise to that now. Yeah, I've collected some tax money off these people. Yeah. There's the nicest car in Julian. There's about 50 here. Laguna Seca Blue E46 M3 and typical weather here would make this road very enjoyable. These roads would be great for bikes too. This is incredible. No, like motorcycles. I can see them going through here. Ducatis and stuff, they're crazy in the way. The TV, you know, like getting nuts. This is beautiful. How's the Camaro doing? It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good for an American car. Yeah, I'd say we're in Borrego Springs now. I just gotta find gas. I guess some of the fog has lifted a little bit, maybe. At least in close proximities. Yeah, no, no, no. We're going to drive back through the storm. Hopefully it'll be done in San Diego raining, but maybe not.
Fred's Mexican Cafe. Clever. Check it out, C63, AMG, and then a Volkswagen. Then we got a uh, CL63 up here, the V12. V12 by turbo. Pretty cool. Brabus. Okay, a week later, we're here at Taylor's house. Uh, we're gonna see if the focus starts. Kenan's over there. Uh, it's been here eight days, so we'll see how bad this is gonna be. All right, Taylor, fire the pig up. Oh, there it is. Oh, that does not sound good. All right, this is Brad. Brad, say hi to the internet, YouTube, and, and the tens of people that will watch this. And he's got this donut here, right? It's, it's a full-size donut that he has um, smallified. And we're going to see if he can fit the whole donut in his mouth. So I say go for it. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that is really disgusting and remarkable. Okay, now you're making it too long. You gotta... <laughs> now you have to chew it in under, in under 20 seconds. You look like a gorilla or a black person with huge lips. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, mom, watch this. This is gonna be awesome. He can chug like he's no, gonna no. chug this coke. He's gonna be very successful in college. Wait, a, get him something to throw up in. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, he's done it before. He put the last coke into that carpet <laughs> about ten years ago. All right, okay, ready, go, set, go. No pressure. That's remarkable. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's a Michael Mason show. Yeah. It's 11:13 p.m. and I heard this song on uh, in LA actually on the LA radio and I liked it so I bought it and now here it is on WZAK 93.1 the Michael Baston show in Cleveland Ohio if anybody knows it's called cutie pie and I don't know who it's by but I used it in my blog from yesterday or two days ago in the landing in San Diego well, Hudson isn't all bad. As we can see, it's 8.44 p.m. here on Sunday, and we've got this beautiful Testarossa parked downtown. That, the M5, and it looks like a Mercedes ML are the only cars on this street. And uh, I actually came down here, downtown, because it was a nice night. I saw that. I pulled over. I stopped. I got out of the car. Go to reach for my phone, and it's absent. I didn't bring my phone. I left it on the couch at home, which I never do. I never leave the house without my phone. I rarely even take it out of my pocket um, and, and leave it, you know, set it down somewhere if I'm not going to be there. So I drove all the way home. I got my phone. I came back, and it was still there. So I took a couple pictures. I can see the guy that owns it at the bar. He was watching me the whole time. It was kind of strange, but I got my pictures, and I showed you. Job done. Uh, that was a really awesome day despite the terrible weather in San Diego and the freezing temperatures up in the mountains. Uh, but those mountain roads, I, I'll never forget that. Those were some of the best roads I have. Those are the best roads I have ever seen. Even in videos, I don't know if I've seen. And the camera doesn't do it any justice. You, there was, you're just going through the mountains. You have 90 degree hairpin turns or more. Um, every couple hundred yards and then you come up to the top of the mountain and going down it is just straight as far as the eye can see just perfectly smooth straight and downhill it would be a great place to take your Enzo up to 218 miles an hour um, there's nothing you see but just desert and mountains for miles there's no people there's no cars there's no cops there's no buildings uh, just a phenomenal place to be uh, and great 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 roads and then downtown San Diego is great um, Old town I love and the gas lamp district and happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm a week late with that. Uh, but that is it for this video. Right now it's actually still 338. I don't know if I filmed anything after this. If I did, you've already seen it before that little transition and and my sound and stuff before you watched the trip footage. Uh, so that you kind of know what I did before I actually did it. And that is creepy. Good night. <laughs>